Hey everyone, we're back. Thank you for being here with the PX4 Developer Summit Day 2. We got Dr. Yang Sang from 96 Words uh, presenting an NSOC independent and open platform aims to help to standardize high performance AI enabled drones. Dr. Yang is calling from Cambridge, UK. He is the director of 96 Sports, chief scientist in AI, and board member at the Autoware Foundation. 96 Sports is well respected within the industry for providing innovative and flexible solutions. It provides a range of hardware specifications created by Linaro to make the latest ARM-based processors available to developers at a reasonable cost. 96 Sports just joined Drunkode as a gold member and will collaborate with Drunkode on open standards adoption. 96 Sports plans to incorporate different components of the Pixel hardware standards in form of mezzanine products and new specifications. Let's hear for Dr. Yang. Let's see what 96 Sports has in tow for the community. Um, Dr. Yang, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me and hi everyone and uh, I'm you know, glad to be here um, have the opportunity to uh, explain what we do while we joined uh, drone code and what we're planning to contribute to this uh, amazing uh, dynamic community so my name is Yang uh, I will be presenting my screen shortly as we are now okay so um so I will briefly, this briefly will be two parts of the presentation. First part, I will give a brief introduction, as brief as I can be, uh, about uh, who we are, what we do. Uh, then the second part, uh, we would like to spend a bit more time in talking about uh, what we have been doing so far, uh, trying to uh, adopt the Pixar standard as well as to enable the high performance uh, drone platform as we see there is a growing need for that in the market uh not only yeah give me one second i'm just gonna oops sorry give me that can you see that now okay great okay uh so 96 boards is the only soc independent open platform specification uh, what we have is we develop a range of open platform specification with all 96 board members and uh, open up for the entire com developer community worldwide to choose to use. Today, we have probably over 100 different type of 96 board all built with the latest and greatest SOC from multiple, uh, all the major, uh, major SOC vendors, including some of the startup or silicon vendors all around the world. Uh, so what we have is uh, uh, a bunch of companies who join together, very similar to John Coach as 96 more men, but uh, we also have a large, uh, you know, partners, partnership companies around the world, over 100 of them, who are doing different things, building mezzanine products, developing software service, OS vendors, etc. We have been uh, leading some of the technology uh, frontier in the open source community, as many, uh, as we're probably sure, so, uh, you know, soon see, uh, we cover a range of the uh, segment market from consumer mobility, uh, enterprise computing, IoT device, smart TV, smart uh, and, and networking, uh, automotive, and AI. Uh, so, what we will show a little bit later in terms of what are the main uh, cross points, if you like, uh, for what we're trying to do with John. Uh, community and with John Code in particular. So what is 96 Sport, right? A series of open platform certification, which we have developed, you can find from our website. And it is designed, all of them are designed with a cross SOC uh, in mind, uh, which means it can support multiple different SOCs, has been tailored for different segment markets uh, from, the, from the specification point of view, I should add. It is well supported by the wider Linaro members and also the ecosystem. And it is today the chosen reference platform by many open source projects, which I will give uh, some of the examples for uh, for you. And you can take a look and, and you know, take that in the way and, and take a look at many of the platforms, uh, which I hope today many of the platforms you, you have been using today are actually uh, uh, one, of the, one of the 96 boards out there. So next, what's 96 boards for? So we're for 
uh, universal OS support. We are all, we're for the SOC independent platform to support the rapid prototyping, a single development, development community and the build for production. That is one key thing which we have is uh, uh, people we believe people who uh, would most benefit from 96 boards. It's not only building a hobby project for yourself, but actually have uh, have an idea, have actually a product concept in mind where you want to build for scale. So this is uh, some of the project I just mentioned, which have been uh, using many, not, not only one, but multiple 96 boards, as you can see at Pix4 here. Uh, and in fact, we have a, had some of very successful uh, mezzanine, John mezzanine product from uh, existing analysis board partner before we actually join force with John code. Uh, so this list continue. I won't spend some to work on this, but the slide is, uh, I have uploaded that. And if you want to take a look and let me know uh, if there's any particular interest you have. Uh, this is, you will all continue to see that covers many angle from the blockchain to security, to the 3D gaming, to uh, real time, uh, real-time kernel and of course uh, an OS distribution as well. Uh, the other thing is that we do work with multiple different cloud vendors as well, addressing the cloud connectivity side. In, in, actually, it's not difficult to find. If you found many of the cloud uh, launch events on the device end, uh, most of them actually have a 96 port there, right? So this is just to give you a, a glimpse of what we do. Uh, on, on the, I said the core of 96 boards is set of the open platform specification, right? Uh, which is the one of the core area which we, want, we will be working together with John Code. Uh, so today we have mainly consumer, enterprise, and IoT edition, which these three are most widely being adopted already because actually those were the first three sets which we developed. Uh, this supports a, a wide range of SOCs, um, you know, which we will probably see the names very soon. And of course, we have been uh, developing um, a 96 board automotive uh, platform for the large scale for the AGVs and uh, vehicles, etc. And uh, we, uh, I've got some background background audio here. That's normal. Uh, Last year, we have launched the 296 board song, which is a um, uh, system of module specification as well, which has been quickly adopted by many silicon vendors. Today, uh, that's, this is actually one of the most popular uh, popular specification, which uh, or product built to the specification has been uh, requested by the professional enterprise developers. Uh, now this is, uh, well, this slide actually needs a bit of updating. Uh, so, as I said, 96 boards consist of a large uh, list of uh, steering committee members, which including many silicon members. Uh, I do apologize because some of the icons need to be changing. Uh, but this, this give you an idea who actually are the steering committee members uh, who join us developing those standards. Of course, we would actually, in the update, which uh, we have John Code there as well, because John Code has officially joined 96 board as well. Uh, manufacturer partner, this is only a selection of those, uh, which we have uh, pretty much in every, every continent. Uh, I'm not sure about every country, but so we have in many, many places who working on in their specific fact, uh, sector of the choice. So this, so what are the real products built to the specification? Uh, I think this would give you a good idea what they look like. So. As I said, the first of three 96 specification covers consumer, enterprise, and IoT, and this would be what it look like. What, what is interesting is today we have over hundred of 96 boards that features way different, uh, you know, a long range of silicon, and, and most of those are latest Gracious silicon. Okay, they're not uh, ten years old uh, silicons, and they are actually one thing which we see today is. The, Many companies choose to launch their product on 96 board, and um, I mean silicon product. So each of those, uh, many of those boards actually looks very similar, as you can probably see, uh, because they follow the same uh, specifications, which is 96 board specification. However, what is interesting is that even though they look very similar, but none of and you know none of them actually exactly the same. 
So that is one of the uh, key, uh, you know, philosophy, if you want. Uh, what we hold is that where we draw the line between uh, what is, doesn't make sense for everybody to reinvent the wheel, but what, well, uh, where we want to see differentiation, where we want to see people building things differently I, from the, you know, from the IP in the silicon itself to actually the end product. So that's what key two keywords we I will hope that people will take away from this presentation is 96 board is about standardization and differentiation. Right? Uh, we standardize the part where no, it does not make sense for anybody to reinvent the wheel to do it twice, but join together, do it once, do it well, a uh, plug and play. Yet we do encourage people to highlight, to focus their investment and time in building those bits, either from the silicon wise, from the hardware, from the software pieces, uh, where they can actually uh, gain differentiation value, which render to the, uh, hopefully the, uh, what they will gain by using these standards. Uh, so form factor wise, we have a 96 port standard, ex extension, enterprise standard, extension, and IoT extend, uh, standard and extension. Uh, this is a closer look like, uh, if you look at all these names, you can easily find on the web, Google or 96 port website, the features different silicons from Xanax, Qualcomm, High Silicon, MTK, Action Semi, Rockchip, NXP, uh, Bitman, which is actually a, a silicon startup on the a Bitcoin side, uh, Intel and Qualcomm. This is not complete list, as I said, uh, but this will give you a, a, a taste of what it looks like when we say SLC independent. Metanines. So this is very important part because we believe metanine is actually the ex that, uh, you know extra mile for from your development platform to give you a specific uh, angle to penetrate a certain market. So we do have a very active uh, 96 ball mezzanine uh, committee, which is completely self-organized by uh, the participant the developer himself. Actually, we even, uh, we do have a guideline for that. For that. Uh, we have many very, very interesting uh, community design the mezzanine. In fact, we will talk about shortly about what we, design a universal drone mezzanine to bridge between the um, high performance SLC powered 96 board to uh, support the drone. So those are the mezzanine product. Uh, majority of them are de developed by the ecosystem partners. Um, they covers from the very small sensor, uh, you know, Bosch sensor uh, kit to very uh, sophisticated, for example, have the, you know, uh, 5G LTE on board, 4G, 5G LTE, uh, modern uh, silicon on board, and uh, also uh, the view control unit. Uh, at this slide, I want to say that uh, this, um, we are in support of the PX4 su Developer Summit. We are giving away uh, 50 of the 96 port mezzanine, most of the popular mezzanines. And this will be, uh, this will be um, uh, anybody who feeling I believe one of the post event survey will be able to get, you know, get the lucky draw. Uh, once you have, you will be shipped with the one free uh, 96 ball mezzanines. Okay, so hope you win. Uh, so yeah, just this, you covers all the from LoRa to robotics, audio, NBLT, security, uh, LT, you know, I'm sure there was a, will be some, some of them which will fit your development needs. Operating system on um, this, Again, this is rapidly changing on a weekly basis. Uh, well, some of them not strictly operating system depending on how you look at it, but it is very widely supported by a different type of a, uh, mainstream and actually some of them, you know, probably uh, more niche as uh, uh, operating system support. In fact, if you go on to uh, SUSE, OpenSUSE or Fedora, uh, you know, this uh, uh, OS website, you will probably find a dedicated section for or a range of 96 board. Uh, middleware and SDK and tool libraries. So we have spent quite a bit of effort actually to to, uh, to support and across community, and is, which is we believe is very important for uh, for 96 board uh, developers. In fact, what we highlight, you remember highlight 96 board is built for production. So we're not really just stopped at actually offering platforms where you can where you can build your idea uh, prototype. Uh, actually, we point a clear path. Uh, from the hardware, software uh, stack and the tooling point of view for 
taking you to the journey of the, making the mass production. So 964 uh, AI initiative was first launched at uh, March 2018, as you probably see with 13 company uh, globally. Um, today, uh, we have probably the most popular uh, uh, you know, AI development boards, uh, which in 964 portfolio, including a uh, very, very popular Hiking 960, 970, Rock 960, Ultra 96, Ultra, uh, Ultra 96, and AIML from IMX 8 based uh, NXP, different different skill of uh, IMX 8 based. So, uh, and of course, the latest announcement we have had uh, 17th of June and uh, Qualcomm's 865C based uh, robotics robotic kit. So that is a very, very popular. In fact, the first uh, ARM development box, uh, some of the, if you, if you uh, pay attention to that uh, field, it is actually a 96 board inside. It's called a sequencer 96 board. Okay, it's a 24 core uh, A53, a very power efficient um, uh, ARM machine for development. So, this is not news, but I will like highlight again. I steal this uh, picture from image from uh, John Code website because I think that I couldn't make a better one. So we joined John Code as Go member, and uh, we the reason why we do that is we do believe uh, we can support uh, in the era we just mentioned high performance drone uh, in the coming. And it actually does, as I said, the, the spirit of analysis board, we actually have considered this for long that decided it does not make, us, make sense for us to reinvent the wheel to, to develop another drone specification uh, from ground up. In fact, we decided to the, the working with drone code, adopting and supporting some of the existing, uh, such as the Pixar uh, hardware standard, would be, be the best for the community. But in order for to enable the, uh, the, the, if I may say, 1.0 1 uh, John platform to the 2.0 John platform, which was much uh, higher demand in terms of the computing, much higher level in terms of the uh, mo intelli intelligence uh, or mobility, and m much diverse in terms of the sensor and the configuration of which uh, we believe that. So that's what 96 board can help. So that can bring me to the second part of the presentation. Is that uh, uh, 96 board drone? So we focus on heterogeneous computing platform where we enable the multiple silicon performance silicon platform choice and provide a, a flexible architecture for for the developers who have probably different uh, experience or different paths when coming to this uh, field. And we do support and uh, Pixar as open standard. And the picture here is well uh, give you an idea of what we're thinking, right? So we're designing a pixel mezzanine board. Well, we use to connect the 96 board ecosystem from the bottom to support the um, drone code community, um, pixel uh, hardware standard on the top, right? So well, we consider to uh, not only actually 96 board main board, but the necessary the useful, important, the 96 board mezzanine. For example, I, I, I'll give you an example here. Uh, a mezzanine who, which give you LTE connectivity uh, 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 when you have that license, uh, license in the, as a modem on, on the mezzanine uh, away from the main board. So 96 board CE consider that can uh, have a range of different SOCs through the standard interface, which is high speed and low speed interface, uh, 40 pin and 60 pin respectively. Uh, with relevant and eligible buttons supporting, uh, connected to the mezzanine board, uh, pixel mezzanine board, give you the, the performance SOC where you can offload the performance computing, uh, where it does not make sense to put on the you know FUM module itself, uh, or uh, and also we uh, we want it to it becomes a generic interface where can have. Can, can support some of the payload that being defined through the PPB interface. Uh, if you're familiar with the latest uh, spec uh, has been going on in the drone code community. So that is what the physical work can look like. And uh, go, do, do, going dive another level is uh, we call it universal 96 board drone mezzanine, right? And well, you can see the main part of the 
complexity will be between the different, the on that the mezzanine, we will need to handle all the different interface and, and the relationship of that. So this today, I should say, is a draft, right? This today stays as a draft. We won't take this opportunity of the development uh, summit to want to, if you have any input at all, we're happy to discuss that. And uh, we're happy to discuss that. We're happy to bring the draft to the joint code uh, uh, technical steering, steering committee to gain more input uh, where we can actually build this. Uh, so those are the, some of the proposed interface and the capabilities. I won't go through it in very detail today, but uh, the, as I said, the slide is, uh, is available and we definitely welcome any input you might have. Uh, for example, you tell me, okay, this part we would probably looking at integrate more, uh, 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 you know, some more, some lighter, lighter sensors, in which case we probably want to have, a, you know, higher bandwidth in terms of, you know, Ethernet, Gigabit Ethernet on board, and uh, we probably need more than one of them and to have a, a physical a separation between different uh, network. So, so we will definitely welcome that feedback. And this is a draft of the, uh, our starting point, if you like. And we do put a lot of emphasis in terms of the power design because this is one of actually one of the very practical issue which we, we have come across, which we believe uh, you know, it matters a lot in, the, in this supporting for the drone uh, mezzanine as well. So please do take a look, take a look through the, uh, the input and output we were thinking about in terms of the power uh, distribution and the power capability. We do uh, envisage is a separate power supply and uh, but uh, yes um, uh, I won't read through them point by point because it doesn't seem to make much sense for me to do that in live stream but if you have any question after the presentation happy to answer them so that's uh, my short presentation I hope that give you uh, some of the idea in terms of what we uh, want to do here and uh, we uh, it's not only what 19 Sport wants to do here, what we want to do actually with John Code, with this community and supporting your development. So thank you. Thank you, Dr. Yang. That was great. Uh, there's a few questions from uh, the community. Uh, I just posted those on chat with you directly. Yeah. Yeah, uh, sure. Please uh, read them out loud before answering. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So first question is, uh, any effort for positioning indoor drones with 96 Sport? Okay, this is a very, uh, so this is good question. And um, I must admit today, we have not actually uh, go down to that level in terms of the breaking down to different uh, specific use case, indoor, outdoor drones. And what we have had some experience with is that in the robotics and the AGV market, that obviously the indoor and outdoor uh, we will probably be looking at the different sensor configuration and we will have a different capability of receiving the signals for certain uh, input of the data, for example, GMS. I, and we probably will are using different, uh, will adopt a different technology uh, to achieve uh, positioning or navigation capability. So today I couldn't give you a very specific detailed answer for drones because uh, we haven't got that point yet, but I'm sure we will. Um, if there's any points which uh, you can, uh, you guys can give, which I'm, you know, uh, we will be happy to uh, to discuss that. I know that doesn't answer your question completely, but I hope that tell you uh, what we are, uh, you know, as, as, as a reality. So the second question is what feature supporting AI, GPU or Tencent Core, some sort? Okay, that is a very good question. So, um, so today, uh, I think that the majority, when we talk about AI support, uh, we are talking about uh, many from two different angles, right? If people who from the, from the Silicon back, uh, background, they will uh, tell you, will be more, care more about how the um, Tencent-based or DNN, deep neural network-based computing uh, being offloaded to different IP fabric. So that IP fabric could be CPU, actually, could be GPU, could be uh, ASIC even could be MPU designed specifically for, you know, taking offloads of those uh, particularly neural network intensive calculation. Uh, it could be FPGA, it could be DSP, it could be all sorts of different IP fabric. It depends on how you implement them from the silicon point of view. So that's one 
part of it. Second camp, uh, mainly looking at this from the framework point of view. Well, we uh, probably more uh, concerned about which framework you support, you know, natively. Uh, do you support them, you know, at what level you will be able to support them? Are you able to uh, 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 charge the computing to the best fit for purpose, the silicon computing resource uh, made available? So, um, so what I can say is that from R, uh, we probably fall in more in the first camp, is where we can, uh, from different 96 port AI platform, we have FPGA based AI platform, we have DSP, we have, in fact, in one of the latest, we have actually eight different type of cores in one silicon. And supporting, you know, scalar based, the vector based, and the matrix based, uh, uh, so, sorry, matrix is the wrong term. So, uh, scalar based, the vector based, and tensor based at the computation. But how they actually carry on, carry out that, uh, that computing, uh, pr you know, changes from uh, quite, you know, I think drastically from silicon to silicon. Having said that, there are some actually very uh, popular. Uh, or actually quite becomes quite established middleware uh, and which uh, we also support. In fact, the, uh, if I may say, they actually were also developed using 96 ports, different 96 ports, such as the TVM and NVM. And uh, so, so I hope that uh, you know, somewhat answer the question in terms of what features support AI. The third question is the board are like Arduino boards, right? Uh, answer is uh, yes and no. Uh, I think the first of all is I think we mainly not only looking at the small silicon uh, in ARM towards and you know, codex and base silicon, we're actually looking at some of the really capable, uh, not only mobile, but actually uh, enterprise grade silicons. And but so we're looking at actually across the spectrum. And uh, for us, it's really, and that's one thing. Second thing is that. Um, uh, Instead of focus on one or two particular type of silicons, we actually uh, cross silicon platform. And this is why you will see uh, startups actually building silicon startups actually using 96 board to launch the silicon, and we should probably don't sit on Arduino board. Having said that, Arduino is a very important developer community in its own right, same as Raspberry Pi, which we uh, we have actually many methods to to be able to enable uh, the the connect connection with both community. And, and we see them as a very successful social engineering project, but 96 Board has a different uh, target and focus in mind. And uh, again, you know, this is, uh, uh, we, we mainly also are today using the latest the silicons as well. Uh, the fourth question, do they come with library and API to program? Yes, every board does. And in fact, every if you look at through every specification, it not only has a uh, requirement in terms of the interface, the hardware, or the IP capability of the silicon, but also have uh, the requirement in terms of the bootloader, the firmware, uh, the security aspect of it, the kernel requirement, uh, the upstream status of the driver, and the binary blobs re feature requirement, even to the point where some of the protocol requirement version are also included. Uh, how is the processing of an AI system in your board compared to the usual ones that are well known? Uh, okay, that is interesting. And I think apart from one, um, uh, apart from one, which is NVIDIA's AI platform, and uh, I hope that uh, the other well known usual ones are actually pretty much 96 boards. Um, so next question, do all of your SPC feed on all of your metanine boards? Right, so that is a, um, um, that is a, so, so let me put it in this way. Ideally, uh, that is what we would like in a very, uh, in, in a perfect world. Uh, however, it doesn't happen that way. Uh, but what I can say is that most of our metanines who and uh, all of the 96 board officially compliant product, they are uh, electrically uh, compatible. And however, whether, because there are some optional f features, there are some mandatory features, whether they are supported the IOs, the, you know, uh, in the same way uh, through those connectors, I, I can't, you know, I can't vouch for, I can't say 100%. But yes, the, the, the cross compatibility between the Madonies and the SBCs, the main boards are certainly one of the key area of, uh, for us in terms of uh, 
cross compatibility among the products is very important. It's some it's a goal we want to achieve. Uh, which board do you recommend for PX4 fly system? Um, uh, so we can't play favorism. The all 96 boards are important, <clears throat> and uh, so this is uh, uh, hope the last question I'm answering is uh, actually we believe uh, there are many 96 boards uh, are could be could be could, could be quite beneficial for different use cases of supporting the high performance PX4 fly system. What we have done here is uh, if I can find that board here on my desk. So this is uh, arrow core. Two, which you can find, uh, which you can find. So this was the first analysis board we have done. That will enable. So this is a Dragon Ball Fortin C, one of the very first analysis board. And this is Arrow Core Two, analysis uh, board has uh, uh, PX PX4 stack on it. Uh, what we've done is actually that has been put on a, a real a real drone. Uh, commercial product, so uh, to, so this is you know four years old product. And, uh, so exactly same mezzanine can plug into the one which we announced last week, uh, in the exactly same manner, right? Different silicon from different company. Uh, so what I would say is, uh, uh, pick your favorite uh, in terms of the price tag, the capability, uh, the. Uh, with uh, you know, if if everything goes 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 to plan, the universal pixel uh, pixel mezzanine product we are developing with drone code would uh, help to standardize uh, the high performance parts. Uh, you know, enable the high performance drones. So thank you, thank you, Raymond, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Yang. Um, hey guys, uh, your host here, Ramon, speaking. Please join me in taking Dr. Yang from ninety six sports. Uh, doctor, thank you for your endorsement and support. We look forward for that's coming uh, out of our partnership. And Great. talk to you soon. Yeah, talk to you soon. Thank you.